Okay, everybody, welcome back. So in this section, we're gonna record bass guitar. And just like with the electric guitar, we're gonna set everything up exactly the same way. And we're also gonna use the same plugin that we used before, Ampire, because it's not only great for guitar simulation, but it also has a nice bass amp preset in there as well. So I'm gonna show you how to do that now and refresh your memory in case you did not see the last section. So let me put the bass down here. Let's head on over to Studio One and let's get ourselves set up so we could start recording this bass. So come on over. So let's go to Studio One. First thing we want to do is we want to add a track, right? So we talked about there's a couple of different ways you can add a track in Studio One. We can either come up to the track menu here, which we did last time, or we could come over to the plus button here, right next to the timeline. Let's do that this time. So we're going to click one and our add tracks dialog box comes up. And as you can see, we have our bass guitar. We can name it anything we want. Audio track is what we want. We want one count, one track. We could change the color right here just by clicking on this uh, button here. We're gonna leave it this color blue. We want it to be a mono track. We want preset to be no preset at this particular time. And we're gonna use input one because that's where we're plugged in on our audio interface, right? And then we also wanna make sure the output is set to main. So go ahead and click okay. And now we have our bass guitar track as you can see here. Now we wanna make sure that we add Ampire to this track. So if you open up this, uh, the sidebar here, there's little two hash marks next to the fader cap. We're gonna to go to our browser and we're gonna drag Ampire under the effects tab right into our bass track. And just like last time, it's gonna pop up on the screen and there's a great preset if you click on the default here, the drop down arrow, go all the way to the bottom, Zat's Baser, I think it's called, there it is. And here's our bass amp sim, sounds great, okay? Uh, we're gonna choose the cabinet here. Right now it's set as the default as a two, two by 10 bass cabinet. We're gonna do an eight by 10, cause why not? We could do that, right? So let's go ahead and let's choose all the way down here, eight by 10, want that big bass sound. Now, just like with the guitar, as I said, you can tweak this amp to your heart's content and then you could save it as your own preset. That's the best way to do it. So the next time you go to use it, you got your sound, right? So again, the way to do that in case you forgot, is you come on over here to this uh, little icon next to the, to the power switch on the top of the left-hand side of the plugin and click store preset. And we can call this whatever we want. We can call it Dave Bass, right? And then we hit okay. And now if we go to our drop-down menu for our presets, you'll see it's in alphabetical order and you'll see where it says David's preset. That was the last section when we did the electric guitar. Now I have one called Dave's Bass, okay? So now we have a bass, which is really cool. So what we're gonna do now, we'll close that for a second here and we'll, we'll shrink down the track. Now we wanna make sure that we also turn on our speaker button, our monitor button on our track so we can hear in our headphones what our bass is doing through this bass plugin. And then we're gonna hit record enable and we're gonna go ahead and record this bass. But before we do record the bass, let's get the bass here and let's set our levels once again, like we did in the last section, to be about what? What did we say? Around a negative 12 dB, right? That's a kind of where we want to be. We want to watch the input meter here on Studio One, <clears throat> and we want to be right around a negative 12, negative 13, somewhere in that ballpark to be a nice conservative level of recording. So let's put our headphones on. Okay, now in relationship to the electric guitar, because I haven't changed the input level setting on the audio box. Okay, if you look at the input meter, we're running around a negative 20, negative 21. That's too conservative. We want to raise up the level a little. So if you take your encoder and we turn it up four or five clicks, let's play it now. Around a negative 15, we could probably go a little bit hotter. Another couple of clicks, want to be careful here. We don't want to go too hot, right? We're on a negative 11 and a half, negative 13. We're in that ballpark. Good enough for rock and roll, as they say. So that's where we're gonna kind of leave it. You can experiment with it, but again, just don't go above a negative 10. Stay in that negative 12 or so range. Okay, so now that we've done that, we're gonna hit our record enable button here. And then we're gonna hit record on our transport. And we're gonna make sure uh, our song, our playhead is all the way back to the beginning of the song. And once again, you can hit the comma key on your keyboard or you could just use your transports controls. And now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna to try to record this bass part. So let's see what we can do.
and there's our drum fill space bar to stop the other uh, recording and now you could go ahead and we want to make sure that we um, actually uh, disengage the uh, the record enable we want to disengage the monitor button so we can actually play back and hear our bass performance um, so let's go ahead and let's just check it and make sure that it's actually working and you can actually go ahead and you can balance the bass the guitar and the drums all together so let's take a look over here in studio one once again so we'll put our playhead all the way back to zero and then let's start playing back our track we'll close our browser here And there we go. So now we have a bass guitar track recorded. Again, not the best performance in the world, but go ahead and record your bass and go repeat the process over and over again until you're completely happy. And when you guys come back for the next section, what we're going to do now is we're going to record an acoustic guitar. We're going to use our great M7 microphone that came with our studio bundle package. I'm going to show you how to mic up an acoustic guitar with a couple of different techniques to help you. And we'll get an acoustic guitar rolling in this song here. So come on back for the next section.